Hello there and welcome to this, the third Pandora's Jar video, this time focusing on Helen, Helen of Sparta as she starts out, Helen of Troy as she becomes. If you would like to know more about ancient versions of Helen, you could do worse, and I have no doubt better, but I'm not responsible for that, um, than download uh, her episode of Natalie Haynes Stands Up for the Classics, which is, of course, available to you for free uh, on BBC Sounds. Um, it's, I think, series six episode one I know I should know this I don't other people do so I guess that's the important thing um I thought today I would talk about a couple of more modern versions of Helen and by modern I mean from before I was born and yet not in the ancient world um so the first Agatha Christie takes on the Helen of Troy story um in the face of Helen one of the mysterious Mr Quinn short stories which are all frankly a bit weird not least this one um in which uh Satterthwaite and Quinn see a beautiful woman uh, from behind, I think, at the opera and decide they should befriend her because they want to know if she's as interesting as her uh, appearance suggests, which is a little creepy, let's be honest, but there we go. And Gillian West, for that is her name, is the survivor by the end of the story of one of the more unusual murder methods in uh, all of Christie, which is saying something again. Um, and that is her ex-boyfriend tries to kill her using chemical warfare inside a glass sphere which needs to be triggered by a high note from the opera, which is broadcast over the wireless. I mean, it's a mystery she survives it, to be honest with you, because it looked like an absolute shoe in for certain death. But uh, there were, I don't know, a couple of little, you know, options where it could go wrong, and oh, it did. Basically, it's like Mousetrap, but not that Mousetrap, yeah, anyway, doesn't matter. Um, a version that I slightly prefer from 1968, original series Star Trek, Elan of Troyes. Now there are things to be troubled by in this. Um, of course, it's more than 50 years old. Um, the idea that the crew of the Enterprise are a civilizing force on anyone who's not them. Uh, um, the exoticization of, of Elan is a bit troubling to us. The moment when Kirk hits her after she hits him, also difficult. But when she arrives on the Enterprise, the whole crew, even Spock, take the knee. Admittedly, because he's half Vulcan, he does it with an ironic eyebrow up, but I will take that. <laughs> 